Hi, my name is Javier Naunay, and I'm a data architect at Professional Services within Amazon Web Services. And I will be joined for this video by my co-presenter, Armando Segnini, who is also a data architect at Professional Services within Amazon Web Services. We are going to show you how to create dashboard on Tableau using Amazon Athena with Okta Multifactor Authentication. We would like to give you an overview of Amazon Athena, how we can do serverless analytics on Amazon Web Services using Amazon Athena, what data visualization options you have with Amazon Athena, and at the end, we are going to talk about a use case and we will go over it on a demo. For interactive analysis, Amazon Athena makes it easy to analyze data directly in S3 using a standard SQL queries. Athena is serverless, so there's no infrastructure to set up or manage. Companies can start querying data instantly, get results in seconds, and pay only for the queries they run. You are charged $5 per terabyte scan by your queries. You can save from 30 to 90% on your per query cost and get better performance by compressing, partitioning, and converting your data into columnar formats, for example, parquet. You can also connect to Athena from a wide variety of BI tools using Athena's GDBC and ODBC drivers. Athena is also out of the box integrated with Amazon QuickSight for easy visualizations of your data. AWS continues to innovate and find more efficient ways for you to analyze your data. We have an emerging serverless analytics stack. You can put all this system together with zero infrastructure to manage. This lets you pay per use, it scales automatically, systems are highly available and fault tolerant by default. IoT data is a great example where an always-on system provides continuous sensor data, but the analytics is on demand, and you pay for those services only when you use them. Once your data is on S3, you can connect Amazon QuickSight with Amazon Athena. Amazon QuickSight is a fast, cloud-powered business intelligence service that make it easy to deliver insights to everyone in your organization. As a fully managed service, QuickSight lets you easily create and publish interactive dashboards that include ML insights. Dashboards can be then accessed from any device and embed into your applications, portals, and websites. You can also use Amazon Athena to generate reports or to explore data with business intelligence tools such as Tableau connected via a GDBC driver. For our use case, a report designer wants to create a report from the New York City taxi dataset to use it as input for a forecast analysis for the marketing department in the company. This dataset is already part of their data lake built in AWS. The security team requires them to use Okta as identity provider. They use Tableau as data visualization tool, and they would like to use Amazon Athena to query the data in S3. As requirement, you need to have Okta integrated with AWS for Identity Federation. You can find more information in the description of this video. You also need to have a Tableau desktop and Tableau server license. To share Tableau dashboards using Athena as data source, we start by designing a dashboard in Tableau Desktop, establishing an Amazon Athena connection. Then we need to configure Tableau Server in a similar way. And at the end, we will publish it on Tableau Server. Armando will continue with the demo. For this demo, we use an easy to instance for the report designer, but you could use your local computer. First, we already download and install Tableau Desktop. For the Athena connection, 
we will use a Tableau property file to customize the Athena GDBC connection. We will put most of the data source configuration in the athena.properties file, including the octa information. This file will be saved in the documents my Tableau repository data source. After this, on Tableau desktop, we can create an Amazon Athena connection under to a server, more, and Amazon Athena. Then we need to go to the Athena documentation website. There, we're going to identify the Athena endpoint that we're going to use in our connection. In our case, we will connect to the Ireland region. So we can copy the endpoint and put it in the server part. Also, we will need to fill the S3 staging directory, also known as S3 output location, the username, and also our password in the circuit access key field. Now we can click on sign in. We will be prompted for a multi-factor authentication token because we are using MFA for our end users. You might need to switch windows to find this window. Now, choose Amazon Web Service Data Catalog in Catalog. Choose NYC Taxi in the database. Now, let's gonna drag and drop the records table. We can click Update Now to see a preview of the data. Choose the sheet one to design the report. So let's gonna start designing our report. First, drag the type dimension to the color marks section. Next, let's drag the month dimension to the row section. Finally, the records count measure, we're gonna drag it to the column sections. Great, our workbook is ready to be published. But before, we need to configure the Tableau server. So let's switch to the Tableau server instance. Here, we already download, as you can see, the Tableau server and also we install. Here, we're going to create a new athena.property file to customize the Athena GDBC connection. We will put most of the data source configuration in the athena.property file, including the Octa information. In this case, we will use an Octa technical account that does not require MFA. This file will be saved in the following path. So everything is configured on the Tableau server and we can go back again to the Tableau desktop. And let's gonna publish that report. To publish it, we're gonna click on server, publish workbook. Here, we will need to log into the Tableau server. So we will use our Tableau server DNS. Just click on connect. You can change the name of your workbook or if you want, you can use the default one. So now on the data source section, click on edit and let's gonna change the authentication and let's going to put it embedded. And click Publish. This will open a browser where we will be able to see the report. So click on Done, choose the report. And now we're able to see the report on the browser served by Tableau Server. Thanks everyone for joining us. Today, we cover different topics related to Amazon Athena and how to connect it with Tableau using Okta with multi-factor authentication. If you have any question or want to know more, 
You can find more information on the description of the video or feel free to reach out to us.